Hey hackers, today we're going to learn about Tmux. So what is Tmux? Tmux is the terminal multiplexer behind this fancy term, hides a simple concept. By using Tmux within one terminal window, you can open multiple windows and split views called panes. Each pane will contain its own, independently running terminal instance. This allows you to have multiple terminal commands and applications running visually next to each other, without the need to open multiple terminal emulator windows. Okay, now that's enough talk. Now let's install Tmux on our Linux system. Fortunately, installing Tmux is pretty straightforward on most distributions. For installing it on your Kali Linux, open up your terminal and simply type sudo apt install tmux and it will start installing tmux. After the installation is finished, type tmux on your terminal. You'll see the same terminal but this time with a green bar running down the bottom of your screen. This is the bare minimum interface of tmux, but still there are some things to be explained. The zero down at the bottom left on the screen indicates the current tmux session you're on. If you have multiple sessions connected, you can traverse through them and the number will change. More on this later. Now on to the meat and bones of Tmux. The first thing to note is the prefix key. By default, it control plus B, which changes the mode of Tmux from input mode to command mode. Those commands can be either split the screen, send you into copy-paste mode, and much more. Oh yes, now let's get an actual hacker look. By creating multiple panes, press the prefix key control plus B, and, and after that shift plus comma, this will split the screen horizontally. Similarly, using shift plus percent will split the screen vertically. After you do this, your screen will be oriented to something like this. Now the question is, how can we move from one pane to another? Now let's navigate through these panes. Navigating through these split screen windows can be a bit daunting, of course, by simply clicking on a window wouldn't work to do that. We'll be going back to our prefix key, Press Ctrl plus B and then the arrow key in whichever direction you'd like to go in. This will change the current active window. Now let's understand how you can scroll in Tmux, because you can't scroll by using your mouse. So you have to use the prefix, type Ctrl plus B and opening curly bracket to switch your pane to scroll mode. Now you can scroll and see text by using your mouse or keyboard. Now after knowing about panes, let's know a little bit about windows in Tmux. For creating a new window, use C with the prefix key. Press Ctrl plus B and C to create a new window. You will notice a change in the bottom left. Now switching between windows is also very easy. Use Ctrl plus B and PA to navigate through windows. Now to kill a specific window type exit and you will come out of it. Similarly for killing a specific pane, move toward that pane and type exit to kill that pane or you can do this using the prefix. Press Ctrl plus B and then X to kill a specific pane. Now kill all the panes and move out of Tmux. Now let's understand how we can make a session with a custom name. For that type Tmux-S and your session name. In my case, I am setting it to coffee. You can set whatever you want. For listing your all session type Tmux and then LS and it will list all your sessions. Okay hackers, that's it for today. If you like the video, please have a subscribe and give video a thumbs up.